It's important that at conferences we challenge the thinking. When workers go back to their teams and when leaders go back to their organisations, normally off the back of conferences there's an increase or a moving of the goalposts. So unless your performance significantly improves when you go back to the workplace, then the status quo remains. Status quo won't get you the level of performance that is required for the next 12 months results. So that's why I believe that conferences need to be a catalyst for the organisation's next best self. We all want more for ourselves, we want more for our teams. And effort is at the heart of that. And if we don't understand what goes into making effort or deciding on effort, then we'll miss our opportunities. Leaders are required to inspire effort within their workforce. If they don't inspire effort within their workforce, then their strategies that they run don't get executed. We speak directly to what it takes to increase effort within the workplace. And it's off the back of each individual controlling what they can control, but they are absolutely responsible for how they turn up to work. And we help leaders understand the environment they need to create, but also have people who are members of the team come in with the right attitude. Can you recognise anyone in your teams that is paying the price for stillness and how can you help them? Because right? there'll be people in your teams that are paying the price for it and you will too. Whether it be in health, whether it be in their finances, whether it be their dedication to work. So as leaders I think we have an absolute responsibility to help people have a look at what if we stay still here? What if we do nothing? We never really determine what are the consequences of that. If you're a conference organiser or running an event, then you'll want your speaker being able to connect to your client's needs. We go out of our way to understand leaders and we know that at the core of leadership is being able to deliver results for your organisation. But would you rather spend your effort being excellent or would you rather spend your effort surviving? That one's on you. And there's two key things you need to do. Firstly, be really, really clear around what you want for you and for your team. Okay, absolute clarity around that. And the second one, guys, is to make the choice to put in the effort. Successful leaders and CEOs are those that execute on their plans and strategies. To do so, you need winners at all levels. What this means is every person within the organisation does their job when they walk into work. So how we create winners at all levels is to go to work on personal responsibility. It's not cliche, but when every person in the organisation can choose how they turn up and are accountable to do so, you get enormous results. A commitment to excellence is going to bother other people because what happens is they're going to feel uncomfortable when you strive for something that looks beyond everyone. That's exactly where you want to take people. You want them feeling uncomfortable around the journey. That's what's required. Think about the one thing, anything that you've achieved that was worth achieving. There wasn't, there has to have been periods of extended dis discomfort. There had to have been. Okay, excellence is not comfortable. It's uncomfortable. Undoubtedly, people will walk away from keynotes inspired, but what they'll walk away from my keynote will be with an operating system to turn up to work the next day, understanding that they are totally accountable for being at their best. Now you do this right through your organisation and you watch the results rise.